Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang solving logarithmic equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so ngayon ay tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano mag-solve ng logarithmic equations. So from the word itself, logarithmic equations, meron lang tayong equations na nag involve ng logarithmic expressions at hahanapin natin yung unvariable variable sa equation na yun. So for example, we have the first one. 7 raised to the x is equal to 12. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, itong equation natin ay exponential equation kasi meron tayong exponent at base na, na, na naka-equate sa isang constant. Pero kung i-apply natin yung natutunan natin sa video ko about exponential equation, hindi natin ma-apply yung equating equal power kasi hindi natin mako-convert itong 12 into exponential form with base 7. Right? Kasi hindi naman eksakto itong 12 na merong base na 7 pag ginawang exponential form. Pero, meron tayong pwedeng gawin para masolve itong equation na to using logarithm. Okay? So, i-rewrite ko lang uli yung equation. Okay? So, 7 raised to x is equal to 12. Ang gagawin natin kapag meron kayong na-encounter na exponential equation yeah. na hindi pwedeng gamitan ng method natin of equating exponent with the same base, pwede nating hanapin yung logarithm on both, on both sides of the equation kahit anong base. So, for simplicity, gamitin na lang natin yung common logarithm. Pwede rin yung natural logarithm, pero this time, gamitin ko yung common logarithm with base 10. So, pwede nating hanapin yung common logarithm of both sides of the equation. Okay? And then, dito sa left side, pwede nating i-apply yung power rule. So, itong exponent ng base natin na 7 na x, pwede natin itong igilid, right? Kung Matatandaan nyo dun sa video ko about properties or loss of exponents using power rule. So, ito ay magiging x log of 7 na lang equals log of 12. And then, pwede na natin isolve dito is si x by dividing both sides by log 7. Okay? So, therefore, cancel si log 7. x is equal to log of 12 over log of 7. So, using calculator, pwede nating masolve si x as what? Approximately 1.277. Okay? So, pwede yung i-check kapag sinabi doon itong 1.277 dito sa x dito sa equation natin na original, dapat ang sagot dyan ay 12. So, sabi doon natin, 7 raised to 1.277. So, ano yan? So, approximately... 12.0002473. So therefore, tama yung solution natin na x is equal to 1.277. Okay? Okay, for the next example, we have 3 raised to 2x minus 1 is equal to 4 raised to x plus 2. Okay, so, isa rin siyang uri ng exponential equation. Yun nga lang, hindi uli natin may apply yung natutunan natin sa pagsisolve ng exponential equation kasi hindi natin pwedeng pagparehuhin yung base nila na 3 at 4. Pero, pwede uli natin gamitin dito yung logarithm para masolve yung equation na to. So, kahit anong logarithm base pwede. So, kung kanina gumamit tayo ng common logarithm, ngayon try naman natin gumamit ng natural logarithm o yung base e. Okay, so, rewrite ko lang uli. 3 raised to 2x minus 1 is equal to 4 raised to x plus 2. Okay, so, kagaya ng ginawa ko dun sa first example, hanapin natin yung natural logarithm on both sides. So, ln of both sides. Okay? And then, apply natin yung power rule for logarithm. So, yung exponent nitong 3 dito sa left side na 2x minus 1 quantity, pwede natin igilid. So, magiging 2x minus 1 times quantity ln of 3 equals, ito ring 4 na may exponent na x plus 2, pwede natin igilid yung exponent niya sa so magiging x plus 2 quantity times ln of 4. Okay, and then, 
distribute natin tong ln of 3 sa left side. So, 2x ln of 3 minus ln of 3 is equal to, ganun din dito sa right side, distribute yung ln of 4, x ln of 4 plus 2 ln of 4. Okay, tapos yung may mga x, transpose natin dito sa kabila, sa left side, yung mga wala dito sa right side. So, magiging 2x ln of 3 minus x ln of 4 equals 2 ln of 4 plus ln of 3. Transposition. Okay, and then, factor out natin dito yung x sa left side. So, magiging x 2 ln of 3 minus ln of 4 equals, copy lang yung right side. And then, para masolve natin si x, divide natin both sides by the quantity ln of 3 minus ln of 4. Okay? Therefore, x now is equal to 2 ln of 4 plus ln of 3 over 2 ln of 3 minus ln of 4. So, using calculator, masasolve natin yung value ng x as, so we have x is equal to approximately 4.774. Okay? Next, we have log of y cubed minus 1 minus log of y squared plus y plus 1 is equal to 1. So, this time, meron tayong common logarithm kasi wala tayong naka-include na base doon sa log expression natin. So, automatic 10 yon. Okay, so, ang first step na pwede natin i-apply dito ay pagsamahin natin itong logarithm expression. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, same base naman sila na 10 dahil common logarithm sila at naka-minus. So, apply natin yung division rule for logarithm. So, di ba equal yun sa log of y cubed minus 1 over y squared plus y plus 1. Okay, so pinagsama ko lang ito as a division. Tapos kasi pwede mo silang paghiwalayin, magiging minus sila. So parang equal yan dito. Okay, equals 1. Okay, and then pwede natin i-transform itong logarithm expression or equation into exponential equation. So, base 10 tayo. So, 10 raised to kung ano yung Expression sa right side, siya yung exponent, right? So, 10 raised to the 1 is equal to kung ano yung expression after nung logarithm, siya yung power. So, naka-equate siya sa power na itong y cubed minus 1 over y squared plus y plus 1. Okay? Now, makamsin nyo, wala na tayong logarithm expression kasi tinansform na natin sa exponential equation, which is... Pwede na natin masolve. So, now, paano natin isasolve yung equation na kinalabasan natin? So, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa right side of the equation, itong numerator, pwede natin yung i-factor as difference of 2 cubes, right? So, pag factor natin yan, equal yan sa y minus 1 times y squared plus y plus 1. Kung naalala nyo yung pagpa-factor natin ng difference of 2 cubes sa video ko about factoring. And then, copying denominator na y squared plus y plus 1. So, obviously, makakancel natin yung quantity na y squared plus y plus 1. So, therefore, matitira tayo sa 10 raised to the first power or simply 10 is equal to y minus 1. Okay, now, pwede natin isolve si y. Transpose lang natin itong negative 1 sa left side. Magiging 10 plus 1 is equal to y or simply y is equal to 11. Okay, so therefore, our solution is y is equal to 11. Now, check nyo rin kung itong solution natin na y ay magiging, ay magpapa-undefined dun sa logarithm expression natin. Iyon ay kung magpapa-negative siya doon sa power natin dito sa logarithmic expression, yung mga quantity dito sa loob. So, try natin kung magpapa-negative ba siya or check na natin directly yung solution natin. So, we have log of 11 cubed minus 1 minus log of 11 squared plus 11 plus 1 is equal to 1. Okay, so log of 11 cubed minus 1 is log of 1330 minus log of 
what is 11 squared plus 11 plus 1, we have log of 1, 3, 3 is equal to 1. Okay? Now, apply natin dito yung division rule. So, log of 1, 3, 3, 0 over 1, 3, 3 equals 1. So, divide lang natin. So, 1, 3, 0 divided by 1, 3, 3 is simply 10, right? Okay? Now, log 10 is equal to what? 1, right? So, therefore, tama yung solution natin na 11. At hindi naman nagpa-undefined yung 11 doon sa logarithmic expression natin kasi positive naman yung power nila. Okay? Next, we have 2 log of x plus 1 base 3 minus log of x plus 4 base 3 is equal to 2 log of 2 base 3. Okay, so apply natin dito yung iba't ibang loss of logarithm. So, dito muna. So, itaas muna natin tong 2 para maging exponent siya ng quantity na x plus 1. So, logarithm of x plus 1 squared, quantity squared, base 3 minus logarithm of x plus 4, base 3. Equals, ito rin sa right side, Itas natin tong 2, so magiging log of 2 squared base 3. Okay, so dito sa left side, mapansin nyo, same base sila na 3 at naka minus. So, apply natin yung division rule. So, magdi-divide tayo. So, logarithm of x plus 1 quantity squared over itong x plus 4 with the same base of 3. Division rule. Equal, so simplify na lang natin to log of 3 raise 2 to squared or 4. Okay? Now, mapansin nyo, pareho sila ng logarithm expression at same base. So, kapag ganyan, pwede nyo nang equate yung mga power nila sa loob. So, parang magiging ano na yan, x plus 1 squared over x plus 4 is equal to 4. Now, kung hindi pa kayo, uh, satisfied na magiging ganito yung kakalabas ng equation natin, pwede nyo itong i-transpose sa kabila. So, kasi same base pa rin sila. So, parang logarithm of x plus 1 quantity squared over x plus 4 base 3 minus log of 3 base 4 equal 0. Now, apply nyo uli yung division rule kasi same base sila na 3 at minus. So, parang log of x plus 1 squared over x plus 4 all over 4 base 3 is equal to 0. Now, apply nyo yung pagtatransform ng logarithmic expression into exponential expression. So, yung base 3 nakaray siya sa exponent na 0 and then naka-equate sa power na to. Yung x plus 1 quantity squared over x plus 4 all over 4. At eh, diba ito ay 1 lang? So, parang 1 na to equals x plus 1 quantity squared over x plus 4 all over 4. And then, pwede nyo itong i-transpose. So, parang 4 is equal to x plus 1 quantity squared x plus 4. So, parang dito rin, di ba yung kanalabasan natin? Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na nating isolve to. Paano? So, cross-multiply natin itong quantity x plus 4. So, dito na lang tayo. So, Parang ito, magiging 4 times x plus 4 quantity is equal to x plus 1 quantity squared. Right? Okay, so distribute. So, 4x plus 16 is equal to, ito expand natin. So, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Square of a binomial. And then, gawin natin quadratic equation. So, x squared plus Itong 4x, transpose natin sa so magiging 2x minus 4x is, sorry, negative 2x na siya, negative 2x. Then itong constant, 1 minus 16 is negative 15, equal 0. So obviously, quadratic equation. So apply na lang natin yung factoring sa pagsasolve ng quadratic equation. So dalawang solutions natin. So pag pinactor natin itong x squared minus 2x minus 15, ito ay equal saan? x, x. Minus 5 plus 3. Right? Kasi negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. And negative 5x plus 3x is negative 2x. So, therefore, equate natin each factor sa 0. Masasolve natin yung solutions for this logarithmic equation. So, x is equal to 5. And x is equal to negative 3. Now, check nyo uli kung magpapanegative ba itong value natin na nakuha sa x. Itong dalawang to dun sa logarithmic expression. 
So, mapapansin nyo kung naman na tayo sa x is equal to 5. So, kung x is equal to 5, hindi. Kasi lahat magiging positive naman. Kung x is equal to negative 3 naman, so, yung nauna, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, right? So, therefore, hindi natin pwedeng tanggapin itong negative 3 kasi magpapanegative siya dun sa logarithmic equation, expression, right? So, therefore, x is equal to negative 3 is not acceptable. But instead, the solution is only x is equal to 5. Okay? Next, we have 2 ln of 3 plus ln of quantity x plus 3 minus 2 ln of 6 minus ln of 2 is equal to 0. So, lahat sila natural logarithm with base e. So, simplify muna natin. Gamin din natin yung iba't ibang loss of logarithm. So, ito, pwede natin itasong 2 parang ln 3 squared plus ito copy lang yung ln x plus 3 minus ito rin, pwede natin itasong 2 so ln 6 squared minus ln2 is equal to 0. Now, pagsamasamahin natin, okay? So, ito muna ng quantity na to, itong dalawa, ln3 squared plus ln x plus 6. So, pwede natin yung pag-multiplyin. So, ln of 3 squared is 9 right times x plus 3. Multiplication rule of logarithm. Kasi naka-add sila. So, same base sila na e or natural logarithm. So, pwede mong pag-multiply yung power. Minus, ito, Pwede natin itong i-factor out yung negative muna sa parang ln 6 squared is 36, right? Plus ln 2 equals 0. Okay? So, ito, copy muna natin. ln of 9 times quantity x plus 3 minus, ito, pwede natin uling pag-multiply. So, ln of 36 times 2 equals 0. So, ito ay, ilan na to 72 na. So, parang... Pwede natin pagsamayin ulito dahil minus, tas pero silang natural logarithm or same base e, division rule. So, ln of 9 times quantity x plus 3 over 72 is equal to 0. Right? And then, transform natin using exponential equation, itong logarithmic equation. So, base natin dito ay i-write sa so parang ano yan, di ba? Log of 9 times quantity x plus 3 over 72 base e is equal to 0. So, yung base natin na e, raise the exponent natin sa right side na 0. So, e raise to 0 is equal to the power na 9 times x plus 3 over 72. And then, ito ay 1 lang. So, parang 1 is equal to 9 times quantity x plus 3 over 72. Now, cross multiply natin ng 72. So, 72 is equal to 9 times x plus 3. Then, uh, pwede natin i-distribute itong 9. So, parang 72 is equal to 9x plus 27. Then, transpose si 27. 72 minus 27 is equal to 9x. 72 minus 27 is 45 is equal to 9x. Divide both sides by 9. So, therefore, x is equal to 5. Okay? So, check natin kung magpapanegative ba itong x is equal to 5 dun sa mga natural logarithm expression natin. So, obviously, ito lang naman. So, 5 plus 3 is 8 sa positive. So, therefore, acceptable yung 5 kasi positive naman yung power natin dun sa mga logarithmic expression natin. Okay? For the next example, we have ln of quantity x minus 4. Plus 1 half ln of x is equal to 1 half ln of quantity x cubed minus 4x minus 12. Okay, so pare-paro silang natural logarithm. So, pwede natin silang pag-combinen using different laws of logarithms. So, transpose muna natin itong 1 half ln x cubed minus 4x minus 12 sa left side. And then, para may quit na lang sa 0 yung right side. So, we have ln of x minus 4 plus 1 half ln of x minus 1 half ln of x cubed minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, so applying different laws for logarithms. So, ito muna ng 1 half na to, factor out natin. So, magiging ln of x minus 4 plus 1 half of ln x 
minus ln of x cubed minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, finactor out ko yung 1 half. And then, dito muna tayo, pwede natin yung pag-isahin using division law. Kasi naka-minus sila at same base sila na natural logarithm. So, we have ln of x minus 4 plus 1 half ln of x over x cubed minus 4x minus 12. Division law of logarithm equal 0. And then ito, using the power rule, pwede natin itaas as exponent nitong quantity na to. So, we have ln of x minus 4 plus ln of x over x cubed minus 4x minus 12 raised to 1 half is equal to 0. Okay? And then, dahil addition, tas para silang natural logarithm, pwede natin pagsamahin using product rule of logarithm. So, we have ln of x minus 4 times x over x cubed minus 4x minus 12 quantity raised to 1 half is equal to 0. Okay? Now, itong na arrive natin na equation, pwede natin i-convert into exponential form. Right? So, itong ln equal kasi siya sa log base e, right? So, pag transform natin ito using exponential equation, we have e, which is the base, raised to the exponent na na-equate dito sa right side, which is 0. So, e raised to 0 is equal doon sa power, which is itong quantity na to. So, x minus 4 times x over x cubed minus 4x minus 12 raised to 1 half. Okay, so itong e raised to 0, 1 lang yan. So we have 1 is equal to x minus 4. And then ito, pwede kong i to as x raised to 1 half over quantity x cubed minus 4x minus 12 raised to 1 half Then Parang distributive law of exponents. Okay, and then pwede ko na tong i-cross multiply dito itong denominator na na may exponent na 1 half. So we have x cubed minus 4x minus 12 raised to 1 half is equal to x minus 4 times x raised to 1 half. Okay, dahil gusto nating mawala yung fractional exponent sa both sides, pwede nating erase both sides of the equation by 2. Okay? Yun na na natin sa principle of equal power sa radicals. Okay? So, makakancel na to. So, bali matitira dito sa left side ay x cubed minus 4x minus 12 raised to 1 or kahit hindi na natin isulat, automatic nakarasyan sa 1. So, x cubed minus 4x minus 12. And then ito, didistribute natin tong exponent. So, parang x minus 4 quantity squared. Tapos ito, pag distribute natin, magiging x na lang. Okay? Cancel yung 1 half. Now, simplify natin to. So, x cubed minus 4x minus 12 is equal to square of a binomial. So, x squared minus 8x plus 16 times x. Then, distribute natin tong x. So, we have x cubed minus 4x minus 12 is equal to x cubed minus 8x squared plus 16x. So, cancel dito sa si x cubed. Then, magkakaroon tayo ng quadratic equation. So, pag tinansform natin ito into standard form, we have, so, itong 8x squared negative, transpose natin dito sa kabila, so, magiging 8x squared positive, and then itong negative 4x, transform natin itong positive 16x, magiging negative 16x, and then retain yung 12 equal 0. Simplify, we have 8x squared minus 20x minus 12 is equal to 0. Then, factor out na natin. May common mo normal factor pa sila na 4 right. So, we have 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay? So, itong 4, pwede na lang natin i-divide both sides para mawala na, ba? So, parang ito na lang. 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, let's solve this quadratic equation by factoring. So, factor out na lang natin to. Ano bang factor ng 2x squared minus 5x minus 3? So, we have, say, 2x, x, and then 
3, 1. So, negative, positive, right? Kasi, negative 6x plus 1x is negative 5x. And then, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Okay? Equal 0. So, equate natin each factor sa 0. So, we have two solutions. So, for the first one, we have x is equal to negative 1 half. And then, for the other one, x is equal to 3. Now, check natin kung katanggap-tanggap ba itong nakuha nating solution na negative 1 half at 3. Balik tayo doon sa original equation natin. Dapat hindi ito magpapa-undefined doon sa logarithm expression. Meaning, dapat yung power natin doon sa bawat logarithm expression ay hindi magiging negative kapag sinubstitute natin yung x. So, dito muna tayo sa negative 1 half. So, kung sasubstitute natin dito sa unang expression yung negative 1 half, we have negative 1 half minus 4, right? Which is equal to what? Negative 4 and 1 half. So, diba hindi natin pwedeng hanapin ang logarithm ng negative number. So, therefore, undefined. So, reject natin yung 1 half kasi magpapa-undefined siya sa logarithmic equation. How about dun sa 3? So, pag sinubstitute natin tong 3 dito uli, so we have 3 minus 4, right? Which is equal to negative 1 pa rin. Which is also negative. So, therefore, magiging undefined yung logarithmic expression natin. So, therefore, hindi rin natin pwedeng tanggapin yung 3 as a solution. So, all in all, masasabi natin na this logarithmic equation has no solutions. Since yung mga nasolve natin ay hindi pwedeng ma-accept. Okay, so may mga ganong cases. Ha? So, dapat iti-check nyo pa rin kung yung solution nyo pa ay acceptable o hindi magpapa-undefined doon sa logarithmic expression. Okay? So, that's it for the topic, solving logarithmic equations. So, so basically, dapat alam nyo lang yung concepts ng logarithm, marunong kayo mag-transform ng logarithmic equation into exponential equation, at alam nyo i-apply yung different laws of logarithms para masolve nyo yung isang logarithmic equation. Okay, so that's it for this video. Sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.